In this video, I will show you how to fix Roblox error code 533, which is to do with if you get a message saying your privacy settings are preventing you from joining a server. So there's a couple of things that we're going to try and the first thing you're going to want to do is come down to the search bar and type Roblox. Next, what you want to do is right click onto Roblox player and click onto open file location. From here, again, right click and what you want to do from here is click to run as administrator. When the permission comes up, just go ahead and click yes. And that's going to reinstall Roblox with administrator privileges. So that's the first thing you want to try. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you're going to want to do is come across to roblox.com. And once you're on roblox.com and you're logged in into your account, what you want to do is come to your settings. So if you come up to the top right hand corner and click on to the gear icon, and what you want to do is click on settings to be taken to your settings page. So from here, what you're going to want to do is come to this menu over here on the left hand side and click on to the privacy option. And what you want to do first of all is make sure the account restrictions switch is off. So if this is enabled, this can prevent you from joining certain servers and experiences. So you want to make sure that's disabled. Another thing you want to check is under the communication section down here. And you want to check that these are set to either everyone or friends. So the three boxes that you have about who can message me, who can chat with me in the app and who can chat with me, you want to make sure these are set to everyone or friends. You cannot set this to no one because that's actually going to affect you joining any Roblox experiences. So once that's done, what you want to do is just basically come out and see if you can open Roblox. Now, if you're still experiencing problems, then the next thing to try is your browser security settings. So in my case, I'm using Google Chrome. It might be slightly different for you depending on what browser you, that you do use. But what you want to do is come and click the three dots up here in the top right hand corner. And then you want to come down and click onto settings. From here, what you want to do is come to the menu on the left hand side and click onto privacy and security. So this is going to bring up a page that's going to look like this. And from here, you're going to want to click onto security. So what's going to happen, you're going to be presented with a screen that's going to look like this. And what you want to do is set this, if it's not already, to standard protection. Although this might not actually resolve the issue, I have had a lot of feedback from various Roblox users saying this has resolved the problem with the error code 533. So of course, after you've done this, make sure to try Roblox again to see if you can get into Roblox and play games. If you're still having problems, what you'll next need to do is clear your browser history. So in order to do this, what you need to do is come to the top right hand corner of Google Chrome, click onto history. So what's going to happen, you're going to get a window come up saying clear browsing data. And what you want to do is make sure you have the cookies and other site data ticked and the cached images and files and browsing history. And you just want to delete this for the last seven days. So all you need to do is click the blue clear data button down here. Once that's done, go ahead and try and open up Roblox again. And hopefully that should solve the error code 533. So if that didn't work for you, then another thing you can try is to allow Chrome through your firewall. And in order to do this, you want to come down to the search box in the bottom left hand corner and just type firewall. And then you want to open the firewall and network protection option. So from here, from the main screen, if you look a bit down the page, you'll see this one which says allow an app through the firewall. Go ahead and give that a click. And what it's going to do is load up a window that looks like this. From here, just simply scroll down until you get to Google Chrome or your chosen browser. And what you want to do from here is actually make sure that the boxes are ticked. So the one that says private and public across here to the right hand side. You can see for Google Chrome, they are currently both ticked. So that's what we want to make sure. And then again, you can come out of this and try to start Roblox. So there's two more things you can try. If you have tried and you're still not getting any luck with getting into Roblox and you're still getting the error code 533. So the next thing you want to try is to delete temporary files. In order to do this, what you want to do is come down to the bottom left hand corner and type temporary files. So next you need to click on to delete temporary files here. And then just go ahead and delete the temporary files from here. So all you need to do is go ahead and click temporary files. And what it's going to do is just scan through all your temporary internet files. And you can go ahead and delete that from here just simply by clicking the remove files button here. So the final thing I would recommend, obviously give this a try and try and log into Roblox again. But if you're still not having any luck, then the final thing I would suggest is if you are using like a VPN, whilst it can be very useful, I would recommend disabling this. 
as this can have an effect on you joining certain games and servers. If you have tried absolutely everything and you're still getting this error message, then the only other thing I would say is that the Roblox service could be potentially down at the time. Or what you can do is actually try reinstalling Roblox onto your PC or laptop, which could in turn resolve your issue. So I hope this video helped you out today and if it did I'd really appreciate it if you dropped a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the latest tips, tutorials and tricks for everything tech and digital related. With that being said I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.